Yeah, for three days. Shit. Yeah, man. Really? Yeah, bro. Ah, no worries. I'll call you. I'll call you after. You feeling good, though? Yeah, I'm alright. You're gonna be sweet, bro. Trust me. Everything's fine. I'll be shooting this, myself this later. Remind this one. Remind you of this one. Bruh. Is that from Miami, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, bro, they're calling me. I will, I'll, I'll text you later, yeah? Right. Cheers for calling, my bro, in a bit. Bye, bye. Thanks. See? Surgery was scheduled for 7 p.m. I think it was. Obviously, I was just a bit nervous for the fact that it was the first time that I was gonna go into sur into surgery. Yeah, Hector was very strong. He accept I had a problem. I need to resolve very uh, exact very okay we need to do surgery we'll go when when doc when you decided and i explain so easy but in general is not a very difficult uh, surgery everyone was being positive even the the physios they were just like joking around and you know just making me feel good and making me feel positive I value most and that I remember most about the, that time is also the time that I spent with my parents and uh, some of my friends came from the UK to to um, to be with me on that day. Paolo, uh, one of the features at Arsenal, was there. My friend Paolo, he's my friend now. He was one of the physios at Arsenal through my injury process. You know, we just became really good friends. I really, really liked how he worked as a physio. He always knew what he had to say just to calm me down and, and made me feel good. And, you know, I was very lucky that actually, you know, through those stages of like probably the biggest obstacle in my career at that time, I had someone next to me that I trusted, that, um, you know, I could, that I believed in, that, you know, I knew he had experience. He actually had, ACL uh, reconstructions uh, himself. You know, he's been great since, since day one. It's literally very good to work with him you know, because uh, he likes a good joke as well, he likes a good banter, and uh, that, that smooths the environment all the time. So it's good fun to have him around, to be fair. Paolo, what does this do? Tell him. Hmm? What does this do? It doesn't do anything, it's just to keep him busy. <laughs> <laughs> and, to literally. Just, and to justify my work. Yeah. <laughs> So his hand vibrates now when he's doing that. And I know Paolo takes it home sometimes. So <laughs> I don't know why. You've got nothing to no one to treat at home. Why did you take the machine home, Paolo? Please can you tell us. I'm happy this doesn't come <laughs> in the video anyway. Medical team at the club are so key for for any squad. You need people that you trust, you need people that you can tell things that you won't tell anyone else, you know. Um, it has to be that kind of relationship. I knew I was in the best hands possible, so um, yeah, there was no doubt in my head that 
um, the surgery was going to be successful. You need to understand the person in this moment because they are worried to, to have pain and injury, but you need to give to them some peace, relax, tranquil, don't worry. That's the most important. But in this moment, you can see how is the mentality of the player you have in front of you. They, they created an atmosphere of positiveness as well. Well, Hector is a positive guy, to be honest. Uh, so, but, but the fact that they had that experience and create that atmosphere gives them that, again, a bit more confidence just to take things in a smooth way and, to be honest, very relaxed. <laughs> Going into surgery for the first time from a personal experience was uh, pretty scary. Uh, knowing that you're going to be open up almost and someone's going to be playing inside your knee with knives and, and cameras and whatnot, so it is, it is scary. The, the ligament is not too difficult to do the surgery. Put the epidural injection and the legs was leaping. We remove, first of all, the central third of the patella tendon, a piece of patella and a piece of the tibia. And then we need to perform two holes. One is in the tibia, from here, we use a drill guide, and then the other is inside. That is the ligament, anterior cruciate ligament, another hole. In this hole we put one screw. Then when finished, we inject inside the growth factors to increase healing and quicker and less pain. Down in Louisiana, where the tall, tall pine trees grow, there live a preacher daughter and she knows how to jelly roll. And a papa want to save my soul But a sweet-talking daughter, Lord, she loves to jelly roll Yes, she do When I got the epidural, I just started feeling a bit dizzy and stuff, so I just fell asleep. After a few minutes, I guess, probably half an hour, an hour, I started hearing, like, this banging noise as if someone is just like repairing a car or something and then I wake up and they were the the surgeons you know playing around with my knee uh, and I remember looking up bright lights there was a camera that was recording the inside of my knee and then through a mirror I could kind of see my knee just open yeah somehow I don't know if it was like the drugs at that time or whatever I just felt really calm we work with a team I never do one anterior crucial ligament alone, no. Minimum, there are two orthopedics, one on my right, one on my left. I like my assistant, the scissors, the skin knife. They know, and then it's so easy. Yeah, it went, it went over quite quick. You know, since the beginning, I, I really trusted them. I was, I was really happy, obviously. When he woke up, people just told him, well, what they told him before. Surgery went all right, ACL is in place, no complications, so well done. Now you have a few harsh days in front of you because these first few days after the surgery, they're not very easy, but he, he took it in a, in a good way. Feeling good, mate. I'm feeling good. Um, it's been like an hour from the operation. I need to wait another couple of hours until I can eat. I haven't eaten since like 11 in the morning, so I'm starving. And... Uh, yeah, but I'm feeling, feeling alright, man. I'm starting to feel my leg now a little bit more. 
uh, Hector was good, but a little sometimes afraid. Afraid. What happened? Uh, and after surgery, Hector, the surgery was good. Don't worry. Now we need to wait and one week start rehabilitation, and then he's breathing better. Why? That is normal because sometimes uh, the soccer player when they have an injury not only in the muscle not only in the knee in the brain psychological but not the soccer players everybody so my friends were with me post surgery paulo was there my family was there my agent came friends of my family they were kind of like taking turns you know someone would leave the room someone would come in there was always someone next to me there and um, nurses physios doctors everyone was so so nice really couldn't complain about nothing during during my time in in that place when i explain hector the surgery was good the ligament you have a new ligament and now from now we need to take care of this graph now the first week immobilization and the skin all the knee the surgery is healing start to heal i knew that the length of my rehab was gonna be due to my rehab more than the actual surgery so Obviously, we had to put in a lot of hard work. I was in the hospital for three days. I could have been there for a shorter period of time, but to be fair, they just said for safety, it was better for me to stay the three days. Was I mentally ready for rehab? I was ready in the sense that I couldn't wait to get started but I wasn't ready to experience the pain that I experienced in the first few days I don't think no one is ready for that really Hector was a very very strong mentality strong mentality he said please very tranquil don't worry now we have a little pain when flex and extend but please that is normal today is working five hours five hours ten hours ten hours it's very, very, was very, very strong. I couldn't be thinking about being back on the pitch when I still couldn't even put weight on my left leg. So, yeah, I was just happy to finally be on the, on track, you know. You will imagine that the following day is not quite a pleasant day. So you, you are in a more acute stage, you need meds, and, and that's the most uh, difficult uh, time after a surgery like that. From, from watching players, also by my own experience, because I have one, the two, three days following the, the surgery normally are the, the, the worst days. My days were just literally lying in the sofa, just being with my dog, being with my family. At that time, I couldn't even like, move with crutches or anything uh, they just told me any form of like movement or exercise had to be minimal i had to take injections in my in my belly it just kept the blood thin and always flowing uh, so i had to do that for the first 14 days put oils on my on my scars actually my grandmother makes a really good arnica oil uh natural that Every time I got hurt when I was a, a kid, that was the only thing that we would use. It didn't matter if it was a, a scratch or it was a bruise or I just banged my head, it doesn't matter. Arnica oil does the job. So that's what I used to put on my knee as well. And um, it worked really well. I mean, the scars healed really, really, really well. I was glad to hear that, that everything went well and, and they'd, he'd stay with his family and make everything a bit easier to have his parents there. And being able to spend time with the family after the injuries uh, is a positive. 
uh, obviously when, when we play and then we, in the season we don't see our families back home as much as we'd like. So uh, yeah, you take it as a positive, you take the time to enjoy that, that time with the family that in, in other circumstances you wouldn't be able to. So, so yeah, it's a good thing in a bad situation. Yeah. It was probably the first time in six or seven years or even more that I could spend time with my family without thinking about my flight back to London. We were just chilling, living normal life, as to say. That was a time where I could just spend time at home with my parents, my dog, you know, cause my friends would come over for a bit and just chill and I knew I, would, I, I could see them the day after and I wasn't going back, so. Um, it was very nice in that way because we could live a different kind of life that we lived uh, when we were together. I think a rehab can be a, a lonely place sometimes. Uh, it can be long hours on a treatment table. That's, those are the times where you need to stay focused, stay positive and know that those bad times are going to pass by and you're going to come out, out of that. I think uh, Hector is a very good person because has a, the most important, the head. And the knee is secondary. It was not the first knee. The head was the first, impo most important for him. They say, okay, we want Hector in London in the next four weeks or in the next five weeks, and he needs to be able to be walking. They just kind of left it in the people in Barcelona's hands to, to start my rehab and take care of me in the first few weeks. It was, it was difficult not to think about the future because the goal was always the same. Yeah, I was just trying to think day to day because I knew that pro the process was going to be very long. <laughs> 